All right, we're back with Golf Club Hydra Dip 2.0, the Sober Edition. And we got another driver here, or a three wood actually, that I found. It's another Goodwill goodie. It came in a bag, but it's something I'm never going to use. I'll let friends use it. So we'll go ahead and pimp it up a little bit. All you got to do is take your driver, whatever club you're doing, you want to scratch it up good with steel wool, nothing major, just get the shine off. And then you're going to tape it up. You want to make sure the edges of your tape are really pressed down well and any gaps in the tape, you don't want anything there because the paint will grab it and stick in places where you don't want it to, so make sure it's all covered really good. Then you're going to get your spray paint and you need some little tool to move the paint around. I'm using a zip tie here because it's thin and it seems to work better than the T did. So basically you just get you two different, three different, whatever, how many colors you want to use, you can do what you want, not just black and purple. <laughs> but uh, you spray your colors in one at a time. I do them, I don't know, three or four times just until you think you got enough paint in there. But you want to make sure when you do this, it's very important that your water is cool. Because if you have hot water on a sunny day that's been sitting in the hose, it will dry the paint up on the surface before you can even stir it around. And now, you're just going to swirl the paint around with a stick or whatever you got. If the paint tries to grab it, which it does to me right here, just kind of pull it out and start over. Dip it down in the middle. As you can if the paint catches it the wrong way, you can actually ruin the whole thing and wind up having to start over. But you just want to swirl it around a little bit, get the paint mixed up until you got a cool looking pattern. Then you take the club and just slowly dip it, start at the toe, just slowly let it go down into the water. And you're uh, just letting the paint that's on the surface wrap around the golf club. That's all it's really doing. There's nothing scientific or special about it. No rocket science involved. And I forgot my little piece of paper here to kind of get the paint off the surface. You gotta, I'm stirring it up with the shaft and the club there, but if you pull the club back out without doing that, you're gonna get all kinds of another layer of ugly paint on top of it, which might be pretty. It won't look like that. See, now that's pretty. And another thing about this, uh, about the paint. If you can, use some test tours model paint or something like that because the aerosol cans tend to get air bubbles on the surface and that translates to the golf club it looks kind of tacky. This one didn't come out too bad, but that's just a little piece of advice. Try to use model paint. It works a lot better than spray cans. But uh, that's it. This one came out all right. I went ahead and hit it with some uh, steel wool after it dried just to dull it up because I don't like the shine. But uh, that's it.